This is Marcy with the Fishing Report for Southeast Kentucky. Water temperatures are running in the low to mid 60s on area water bodies. On Lake Cumberland, lake levels are at 691, which is normal for this time of year. Fishing has been somewhat slow, but anglers have had some success fishing around cover and hitting main lake points for black bass. Crappie has been hit or miss, and if we could get some colder temperatures, the bite should pick up. On the Cumberland tailwater, we've seen some nice trout the last few weeks. Try using small spoons and inline spinners. Brown trout numbers and sizes have been improving and we saw several brown trout over 20 inches during our recent trout sampling. If you plan on fishing the tailwater, be sure to check the generation schedule before you go because there have been some changes in the last few weeks. Sluice gates will only be in operation if they are running more than one turbine and two orifice gates will be in use at all times until further notice. On Dale Hollow Lake, smallmouth bass are being picked up on points using jigs in 25 to 35 feet of water. Targeting schooling shad is another option that has been having success as of late for black bass. Elsewhere in the district, rainbow trout have recently been stocked in Rock Creek. On Rock Creek, the portion from Bell Farm Bridge upstream to the Tennessee state line is part of the catch and release program, so only artificial baits can be used and trout must be immediately released back in that section. Trout stocking plan for November for the Finns Lakes, including Brickyard Ponds in Barberville and Logan Hubble Park in Stanford, have been delayed until December. So as always, good luck and good fishing. This is Jeremy Shiflett with a fishing update for the Northwestern District. Rough River Lake is sitting about 478, which is 8 feet above winter pool. Water temps are in the low to mid 60s. Tailwater discharge is around 800 CFS. The lake has a lot of color, thanks to both the drawdown and recent rains. Bass fishing is fair, with fish on the banks and feeding heavily on shad early and late. Try 2-4 to four inch swim baits and shad imitating crankbaits. Also, a blue-black jig and trailer combo is a good thing to keep handy. Crappie fishing is good on average. Fish have been on the shallow side, say two to eight feet deep on brush and larger rock. Hybrid striped bass can be caught trolling the lower lake and casting swim baits and shallow running crankbaits and rattle traps across main lake points. At these lower lake levels, only the State Park, North Fork, Pine Ridge, and Axtell winter pool ramps are available for safely launching. The Lynn River Lake is sitting around 503, which is about 11 feet above winter pool and dropping about five inches per day. Again, water is in the low 60s with more color upstream of Kanalaway. Bass fishing is fair. Target lower lake flats, points, channel bends, and the upper lake rocky banks on the outside of the channel bend. Again, try shad imitating crankbaits, swim baits, etc. to mimic all the young shad in the lake right now. But don't be afraid to throw some brighter baits when visibility is lower, especially baits in green, blue, and red. Fish can also be pretty deep this time of year, and especially once we get closer to winter pool. So uh, try a finesse worm on a drop shot rig as well to try to hook up. Crappie fishing is fair to good. Lots of nice fish are being caught in recent tournaments. At both Rough and Nolin, we are seeing more big black crappie than white crappie of late. But there are fish in both lakes over 12 inches and in excess of a pound. Look for fish off the ends of laydowns, 6 to 12 feet deep. Right now, fish are scattered a bit and harder to nail down, but winter pool levels offer a great time to predictably target crappie. So keep an eye out for those nice weather days to jump on the water and catch some fish. Bass fishing is fair at the state lakes. Target woody structure with plastic worms and creature baits in red, blue, and green hues. Crappie are schooling up on the smaller lakes as well. So typically when you find one, you can find many. Remember there is no minimum size on crappie in these smaller state-owned lakes. Keeping small crappie at each of the smaller lakes in the northwestern district is a good thing and will offer opportunity for improved growth for the remaining fish in those lakes. Trout were recently stocked in Owensboro, Litchfield, and Madisonville Fins Lakes, Sandy Watkins Park in Hebbardsville, Sinking Creek, Otter Creek ORA, Nolan Tailwater, and Peabody WMA Lakes. The limit is 5 fish per angler per day in Fins Lakes and 8 fish per angler per day in non-Fins Lakes and streams in the district. Good luck and stay safe. This is Caleb Bentley with the Kentucky Stocking Report. This week across the state, we stocked rainbow trout. Rainbow trout were stocked in the Lake Cumberland Tailwaters, Otter Creek ORA, Sinking Creek, Nolan Lake Tailwaters, Floyd's Fork Creek, Pikeville City Lake, Fish Trap Lake Tailwaters, and Grant's Branch Lake. Good luck fishing and stay safe.